Hello guys, allow me to introduce myself. I am Eric, one of the presenters and co-founders of this channel. And I believe you've already met Joe. <laughs> That's right Eric. For those who are new here, I'm Joe. The titles would be the same. <laughs> <laughs> we both agreed not to wait until everything is ready to bring you guys the new videos. After all, we've waited long enough. That's true. Once the studio is completed, we will be releasing an official introduction to us and our channel. We hope that will happen soon enough. Okay then. Enough chit chat. Let's dive into what we are here to do. Right. Let's talk Black Mirror Season 5. Guys, I believe we are all adults here, but given the flashy colors and peculiar characters like me and Joe, there is a possibility our video reaching child audiences. Black Mirror is an adult, dark-themed, twisted TV show which is definitely not suitable for children. Netflix itself has given it a 16 plus rating for mature content, so please, Consider this a warning. Now let's talk about the first episode of the fifth season of Black Mirror, Striking Vipers. The story starts with a normal suburban couple celebrating the birthday of the husband, Danny, played by Anthony Mackie. Enter a new guest, Carl, played by Yahya Abdul Mateen II. Ooh, the universes are colliding. Danny and Carl are old friends, reconnecting after 11 years. As a birthday gift, Carl gives Danny an upgraded version of their favorite video game, the eponymous Striking Vipers, that they used to play when they're very young. This new version has a VR capability using which the players can immerse themselves in this Street Fighter-esque fighting game and don the persona of their favorite character. They start playing this game again and the new feature causes a slew of unexpected events that turns both their lives upside down. Without giving too much away, what did you think of this, Eric? Joe, this is classic Black Mirror. It's dark, disturbing, and makes one think of new developments in certain technological aspects. I mean, think about it. A seemingly harmless piece of tech causes an ordinary family man to rethink his life, his marriage, his sexual preferences, his outlook on relationships. It's eerie and thought-provoking. I agree. That's the brilliance of Black Mirror, isn't it? It's presented so real, we can never neglect one storyline as far-fetched. Yeah, yeah. I love the performance by both the actors who play the main characters. Also, better watch out for Nicole Behari, who plays Theo, the wife. She was terrific in her role. Bomb Clementif and Ludi Lin as the in-game avatars were also brilliant. I thought they got the difficult job to be fake and be human at the same time. Overall, I felt weird and vague at the end of the episode. But for an episode of Black Mirror, I'd say that's exactly what the audience wants. Smithereens is more of a thriller type episode. It is literally driven by Andrew Scott playing Chris, a mentally disturbed person. You may know him as Jim Moriarty from BBC's Sherlock. 
it follows a kidnapping plot. The mystery around which the kidnappers demand is unraveled as the episode goes further. The hostage works at a giant social media company owned by Topher Grace's Billy Bauer. And the reason behind it puts us in the passenger seat as Scott drives the whole episode and we are at the edge of that seat. This is the most emotionally impacting episode of the season. Like you said, the brilliant performance by Andrew Scott who really drives the plot forward. In this era of personal information leaks and social media addiction, this story is a relevant one. But it was heavily focused on the latter problem. I disagree. While it shows us the horrors of social media addiction, some sequences really hit the right points on the first issue you mentioned. The data leaks and misuse of personal data are subtly referenced all over the episode. They make us think how really private one's online life is nowadays. But they don't preach it. Maybe. But as an emotional viewer, I was more interested in Chris's arc and his problems. This was the one that was heavily marketed as the Miley Cyrus episode. The story follows the lives of two women, one of which is a pop star named Ashley O, played by Miley Cyrus, a fictionalized version of her own professional career. And the other is Rachel, played by Angry Rice, a shy, socially awkward teenager who idolizes the public persona of Ashley O. Rachel buys an AI-powered doll called Ashley 2, which literally has some of the consciousness of Ashley O, so that people can think they are talking to their favorite pop star. Much to Rachel's sister Jack's dismay, she starts to bond with the doll. Meanwhile, Ashley O's life becomes more traumatic when she wishes to pursue her dreams and an evil plot involving her management team ensues. The paths of both the fan and the star crosses after an unexpected incident with Ashley too. Joe, this was a more straightforward episode than most of the other episodes of the series. And I meant the series, not the season. But towards the end of the plot, it got more ludicrous and absurd which to me is not black mirror material. But, Eric, that is the point. This episode was very funny. I really enjoyed it. Also, how it dealt the issues of celebrated pop star and her seemingly perfect life and those fans who adore that, what she has, was handled very well. Maybe. It made me chuckle here and there. When the foul mouthed real Ashley was on the screen, it was pretty fun. But other than that, it felt like a dumb and dumber movie. I mean, with that subplot involving the father and a mouse trap, that was no black mirror. Even though I liked some scenes showing the contrast between the two girls' lives, mostly I was disappointed that they weren't able to explore it much deeper problems they had. Well, here everyone is entitled to their opinion, Eric, even though they are very, very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, to conclude, here are our ranks for this season's episodes. What did you think of this season of Black Mirror? Be sure to tell us in the comments. If you like this video, like it and share it among your loved ones. Support us. For more videos, subscribe to this channel and press that tiny bell icon to get instantly notified. Until next time, we are the Clueless Binge Watchers. Your entertainment hub. I'm in love with the cocoa.